Welcome from Searle Automation Engineering. Uh, today we're looking at an application where we're going to simulate a brake hose to caliper joint. Now we have uh, several features in this application that we're going to show you today. The first feature is the control box for the DC electric system. As mentioned in, in previous uh, times, this particular controller is designed for uh, torque control, torque monitoring, angle control, angle monitoring. We can do various things like shift down speeds, um, torque thresholds to measure angle and all sorts of interface and it can also communicate with produ production information systems. Now this particular controller can be set either through a menu bar on the controller or if desired remotely we can use the, the tool software. Now the toolware software is upgradable via the internet so if any new additions come out in the toolware software, once you purchase this software, you'll get those additions for free. So this system is, uh, enables you to set your, your torque, your angle, your, uh, you can view all your rundown information, all your times, your dates, and it will store up to 5,000 readings. And it, as mentioned, mentioned before, again, this system will interface with your production information systems. Now, as mentioned before, the system we're looking at application is a uh, brake hose to caliper. Now obviously we haven't got a brake hose to caliper here so what we have is we have a joint simulation where we can vary, vary from hard joint to soft joint. Uh, the system here is set up to run at 30 Newton metres uh, with a high of 40 and a low of 20. Now we can set those high and low parameters uh, wherever we like but uh, the, the, the key function today is that we set the, uh, the torque MA at 30 Newton metres. Now, the, the system at 30 Newton metres does um, create some problems, and the problems that may be created is a reaction to the operator. Now, enable, uh, for us to enable the uh, operator to be free of that reaction, we have incorporated a linear slide arm. Now, this arm is built by Searle Automation, and uh, Bob will give you a, a brief description of how this arm works, how it goes up and down. It's on a, a zero gravity balance system, and just by Moving the tool, it will finish, finish in the spot and will also go up and down as required. Now on this particular application, we have uh, the, the nut set at 30 Newton metres, so Bob's going to take you on a rundown of this nut and show you the, the, the reaction. As you can see, most of the reaction is taken up in this torque arm and once, and once the bolt's done up, you'll be able to lift that nut up and slide it out the way. Now if you have a look at our recording at this time, back at the controller, the controller has hit 32 Newton metres. We did set it at 30, but we really haven't looked at uh, joint characteristics at this point in time. We're basically just doing a run there with no, no thought into the process. So again, this procedure was uh, brought to you by Searle Automation Engineering, uh, the arm manufactured by Searle, Searle Automation Engineering, and the system provided by Acridine, which is a name co company. Thank you for your time.